it's me, Danielle Denny Buttons. I'm here today for my March coloring haul. It's huge again. What has happened? I don't know. I have a lot to talk about and I actually have like extra clips to add in, all this fun stuff. The pile is a mile high, so let's just get into it. First, I just want to show you I'm super excited. I alluded to this. I got a MacBook! So this technically not really coloring related, but I did get it to do better videos for you guys. If, if that's a cop out, maybe. But look at my peach case. I love it so much. I love fruit themed things. So that's my new case. That's my new MacBook. Back block block MacBook. I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. I'm still very much learning. But if you've noticed like the weird sounds in my intro, like the clapping and the like, ooh, that's because of this. So um, you're welcome or I'm sorry. I don't know. But I'm super excited to continue to learn with that. All right, I have a huge stack of books and most of them you've already seen, which is nice. Let's get to it. First, Color by Colors Spring by Kira Scherzneva. I did a flip of this one. I will link it up above, I think. I have a flip of almost every single thing that I'm showing you. So I don't know how many of them I can link. But this is another color by color book and it's super fun. Instead of numbers, you just match whatever the outline is. I'm excited to do a lot more in this now that it is officially spring. So there's some examples and here's the one I did. I'll show you again. This is another spoiler for my end of the month haul, but also I did this in the flip through video, so you may have already seen it. But that is color by color spring. Now is the six Disney books that I got, which again, you should have seen all of these, or if you have not, there are flips for all of them. So I highly recommend it. This is Princesses. I'll just show you. Um, you can't tell what it is until you color it. There's your colors at the bottom, and here's one page example of answers. They're very, very detailed. This one and the next one are definitely the most detailed in this mystery series. I love this whole series. I have every single one. Well, all right, I don't have Pixar 2 and I don't have Cats. I have almost every single one and I love them a lot. So that's Princesses. And similarly, this is Fantasy Creatures. These are the two newest in this line. And again, a random page, less colors overall in this one and a random page of answers, very detailed. This has a lot of Onward because that's the newest movie when this came out, which is exciting, but you can even tell, I think there's teeny tiny details, which is new for them. So I very highly recommend looking through my flip throughs of all of these French Disney books before purchasing because they're expensive, especially in the US to get the shipping. So I would recommend knowing what you're getting so you can make the right purchase. I'm gonna have links to everything down below, except the French stuff because I might link the search page for all of them and then you can just wiggle around over there. It gets confusing for people. You have to go to Amazon France or at least that's where I shop from. You can also shop from Amazon UK, which is in English, but France will translate if you're on a laptop or desktop. And sometimes they'll pop up on Amazon US, but usually they're shipping from France anyway. So I just get them directly from the source but only a few times a year. So again, I've done a flip, but this is Disney Vintage and it's all of the characters, like original Mickey and friends. And I love a lot of these just in black and white as they are. I think they're really cool looking. So I'm excited and nervous to try out this book. This one's obviously also double-sided. There's some postcard sizes in the back, which would be great for testing your mediums also. But there is that one. This is a nice hardcover book with the regular spine, so it's easy to open and close, and it's a sturdy one. That does make it extra, extra thick. Like, look how thick those cardboard cover is. Whew. Then I've done a flip of this one, too. This is Disney Mandalas. This is a square size book, and they're kind of mandala-y, kind of not. Like, this, mm, this might be a good example of a mandala because it is very much repeating. But then this one, it's just the characters all in a circle. I suppose the queen does repeat, but. So very cool, very pretty, can't wait. And this one is single-sided, so that's exciting because you can use whatever you want in there. 
the, nope, not the final Disney one. Another Disney one is Portraits Volume 2. This is just Portraits. I've done one in here already. I guess we can spoil. I also did this on a video, so it's only a medium spoiler. But I've done Pongo with glitter gel pens. This is just, as it says, Portraits of the Characters. So mostly just their faces up close. It's fun because there's a lot of characters that you don't normally see in coloring books. And I'm very excited to have this. Right now, there are only two volumes of this out. I have them both. I don't know if they're going to make more in the future, but that's what I know for now. Then we have Mosaics. So this is like the predecessor to Vitro because instead of stained glass, it is just a tile look. There's a lot of really cool images in here. I like this one a lot. I'm excited to give it a shot. And also, it would be good for water-based markers if you wanted because the spaces are so small or of course you can just color everything at once whichever way you so choose to do it but you can see how they kind of like alternate to get that that look which i'm excited to do one in here soon the next two books are from my friend christy with at crafting with christy i still always have trouble i'm very mad at her because i sent her a happy mail just because, and then she sent something back, and I feel like that was unnecessary and against the rules, but she did it. So I'm gonna show you what she sent me. One you already saw because yesterday I actually posted the flip of this one. This is the Modern Cottage Collection by Jen Racine, and it's a lot of fun images from her. I think I already did one in here that I showed you yesterday, so I might as well, but I love the feel of these books with that nice cover. Looks great in the camera too, which is really helpful. So there is that one. And secondly, she also sent Time to Travel with Baby Dog, which you've seen I have Time to Travel with Baby Sloth. So this is super exciting. And I can now confirm, I definitely misspoke a few times, but they are all different. So I think some of them might go to similar locations, but the pictures themselves are all very different. And that's pretty cool. So I think there's also cat and llama out there and eggplant, if you know what I'm saying. But these are definitely the two I wanted the most. So I'm very happy with this to be coloring in there soon. Also, while we're here, um, I actually received another happy mail from my friend Ren, who's Ren's coloring craze. And I opened it the second I got it, but I did film it. So I am going to insert the clip right now of me opening that so hi guys me danielle danny buttons and i'm having the best day today like the best day um i went to my peel box and found a package and i'm gonna open it right now it is from ren and it was a surprise and i'm really glad that i sent sam to check my peel box i'm like i haven't checked in a while let's make sure so i'm gonna just insert this in my end of the month haul but i figure that she would probably like to see like an initial reaction so i started ripping this open and then i was like wait stay calm don't look. So I didn't officially look. So let's see what she sent me. All right. Whoa. Kick back and color my number. Ooh, to music. I've heard of these books. I think Lauren has some from Lauren Loves Color that like they come with a playlist. Wow, that's fun. <gasps> a whale. My store, my Dollar Trees never have these. And I keep seeing everyone say like, oh, they're like, obviously it's a pretty thin quality. You can see the whole image, but they're super fun pictures. <clears throat> so cute, a bird, ugh. but other than that, so cute. And look, Scooby-Doo, jumbo coloring and activity book. I think this is, ooh, these are more fun than I was expecting. Ooh, ooh, I just watched the Scooby-Doo like 2000s movie recently. Wow, he looks maniacal. You're right, Velma. Look, face paint, vitamin pills, and suction cups. What's going on here? Is this one story, I hope? I'm gonna have to read and figure out what's going on with that. Yay, yay, okay. She stuffed this bag full. Ah, follow your dreams. I love notebooks, I'm obsessed. And this is super pretty, and it's got like a, a cool cover. Yay. <gasps> Thought this would be fun to cut for glue books. The festival at Sugar Ridge, how cute are they? This book's belong to, is it like an activity book or just, I'm gonna read it first. This is so cute. See, the hardest part with things like this is how do you decide which side? But you could totally cut apart like all of these things. 
it's like a nice length story too. Wow. Strawberries. Jam, probably. Food color. <gasps> so cute. This would be fun too to like cut and put other things on top of that. Super cute. Oh, best decorate. I think I spoiled the book for myself, but super cute. Ah. Super cheesy, but I thought it might be fun. I have one to match. Oh, It's like a fortune cookie. Oh, BFF fortune cookie. Should I open this now too? I'm gonna do it. Nope, I'm not. Ooh, I might need my scissors. Where are my scissors? They should be on the desk somewhere. Sam, do you have scissors? Nope. I'm gonna open at the end. I'm gonna get scissors. Ooh, it's another notebook. It's like a whole traveler's notebook. How fun are these? You can decorate those. I like kind of missed the traveler notebook trend because I could never decide which one to get. But this is super cute. And it just like closes up like this. I love this. I love that pattern a lot. Nice and bright and colorful. Whoa, there's more in here. Ooh, I know these are her favorites. The Jot Gel Pens are the Extreme Smooth. Ooh, two different colors. I hope that you can hear anything over the crinkling. Look at that. So this is like pink, I guess blurple, blue, and green, a dark green, brown. This always reminds me of fall. And I guess this is spring. <gasps> That's exciting. Ugh. And, ooh, what are these? Color Point Built-in Sharpener Refillable Colored Lead. Mechanical pencils. This reminds me of like September back to school. And again, I guess more spring. I don't think I've seen these ones before. How cool is that? Is the built-in sharpener, I'm like really, there's like a sharpener in the back, like a tiny little sharpener. You like take it off, that's so cool. Weird, I'm intrigued by those guys. And then finally, Oh, how cute! It's a little coin purse. And it's purple and it's beautiful. I like that a lot too. Eh. Look, and you just shove. That's really nice too. It's a nice material. I like that so much. This would be good to like keep on you in case you ever, I mean, I don't drive, but when I did or when I'm around Sam to like put quarters in there to make sure you always have money for tolls. That's not what it's called. Parking meters. Geez, can you tell I haven't been outside in a year? Yay! All right, let's see if we can get into this thing. And also, thanks so much, Ren. This was such a nice surprise. Ugh. All right, I gotta get scissors. Go move. I got some scissors. Uh oh, cut through the little example page. So let's see, how does this work? Oh my gosh, there's possible collector's guide. You might be a theft like to celebrate, play, or eat. I saw, I like that one with the fruit. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So do we just like open it? Let's see, let's see. I think I cut that open. Eh. They're both in one side. That's kind of weird since it's two. What did we get? Uh oh we got oh they're not both in one side are they maybe or wait i don't understand <laughs> i got a pepper shaker right let's find it pepper shaker does that mean that you got the salt shaker that's so cute i love it look at it i'm gonna hang this from a one of my Pencil cases, we go together like salt and pepper. It tells me the answer. Duh. And we've got lucky numbers like a real shaker. I was gonna say maybe Ren opened this and got the other half, but obviously it was shrink wrapped, so that would be in pretty intense on her part. How cute, and I really like this guy too. Should really hang that from something. So sweet. Thank you so much, Ren, for thinking of me and sending me such fun stuff. I'm gonna message you now and say thank you, but I literally like just got in the house and I was like, I have to open this right away before I even thank you via Snapchat. So 
I hope that you enjoyed this. It's going to just be right in my haul. So back to regularly scheduled business. So there we go. Thank you so much, Ren. I was super, super surprised, and it was really good timing, which I might have said in that clip, because again, at this point, I filmed it like two weeks ago, because the second I saw it, I was like, I need to open it. I cannot wait for the end of the month. And we just got really lucky, because I hadn't gone to the P.O. box in a really long time, and they apparently, like, that just got there either that day or the day before, because I usually only go to the P.O. box if somebody is like, ah, oh, I'm sending you this, and I'm like, okay, cool, I'll be on the lookout, but otherwise, I'm just like, nobody sends random things. You know when I get to that P.O. box? A lot of junk mail. And that makes my heart so sad because I'll open it up and I'll be like, oh, something is in there. And then it's an advertisement and I'm like, excuse me? So that, that happens. But anyway, that was that clip. Next up are some books I bought. Yes, we'll go into that next. So I already colored in this on camera too. This is Mouse Guard Coloring Book. I have wanted this for years. I think this one came out in like 2015 or 2016. And it's based off a uh, coloring, not coloring, <sighs> comic book series slash like graphic novel series. I'm trying to see when it came out. Yeah, 2016. And I already did one, but we're not going to flip to that. I just think these are really cool images. And I've just, everyone that I've seen work in here always does amazing work. And I want to try to do amazing work, but we'll see if that works out or not. Maybe if you didn't see that video, you'll see at the end of the month how I did. But um, I just had been wanting this one for forever, and it kept going in and out of stock. So I was like, I'm going to get it now before it goes out. So I think I even paid shipping on this one, which that should tell you something. But I think it was like the book was only $10, and it was like $2 shipping. So I was like, all right, fine, I'll do it. And then <laughs> these next ones are fun ones. I just got them. Two of them I literally got in the mail like 15 minutes before I started filming. And this one I got two days ago. This is Lisa's Fault from Lisa's Coloring Corner. This is Geometric Patterns Volumes 1 through 10 by David Hinkin Jr. 240 illustrations. Let's see if you can see how thick this bad boy is. Wowie, that's a lot. I love it. I love the big thick books. They're exciting. So I don't... I'm not really, it's all geometric patterns. I've already started, I did one and I started a second one. There's all my backup pages. So I'm really excited for this. I just went for it. I think that like each volume was like $6 and then this bad boy was 20. And I was like, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna get them all. And now I have like this honking textbook to hold around with me. What I do for stuff like this, I don't know if you can see, so this is my post-it for the one I finished. And then these are just index cards. So I kind of go through and pick maybe five or six that I'm really interested in doing. And then when it comes time to pick, I'll go to these first and see if I'm in the mood for any of those. Because I've mentioned time and again, I can very much get trapped in making decisions and it's hard to pick my pages. So I'll just keep these in here and I'll be like, ooh, do I wanna do that one today? No. Like, ooh, do I wanna do that one? Yes. And then I'll take this one and I'll pick a new page and replace it. And that, oh, that helps me. Like when there's so many, it helps me to narrow it down. So I don't know if that's a nice tip for anybody else, but that's what I do. And the last two, also super excited, they just came. So this is 50 Animal Mandalas, color by number, by Sachin Sachdeva. And I just was like, wow, this looks so cool. I love that it's color by number. So this only has a 16 color palette, which is not very many. And that's exciting because you can just probably use any kinds of markers for in here. Most things will have these colors. And they're just really cool looking and very springy and just a lot of fun. There's a fun piggy, a little pink piggy. And I really love the flowers around it. There are some birds in here, but we're just gonna have to get on with it. We'll be okay. And I really like the flowers and I think this will be a lot of fun. And it's, it feels like a very different color by number. So that's really cool. I'm excited to start this. This is my problem now, cause now I just got that pattern book and I have this one and the next one and I don't know what to color next. So I figure if I put this up now, I'll be able to just like focus on those for the next few days. So the last coloring book I have is this Circulism art book, Sea Life edition by Eclipse Books. So I have been seeing these all over 
and I knew I wanted this one. And I don't know what it took me to pull the trigger, but I have done it now. Actually, you know what happened is every, every so often I get a tiny bit of Amazon money from if you click the links down below and make purchases. So I consider that free money and I'm allowed to buy a book with it. So I had enough to, well, I almost had enough to buy this book. I think I only had to pay like $2. So that was useful, but this is so cool and it's all circles and I have been really loving like the mystery dots. So this is like a step up from that and I cannot wait to get going in here. Also, I don't know if they changed this, but I've been seeing people say they don't have color names and they do now. So I don't know if they listened to feedback and put that on or if you guys were talking about a different volume or I could just be off completely, but they have color names, just not on every page. So you'd either need to like cut out the back one or the front one or something like that, or like take a picture on your phone and have that open next to you. I do not know. So there is that. That is the end of my books. I am so, so excited for really all of those books. Next, I'm gonna be inserting another clip. So here's my little preamble to that. And I'm probably gonna repeat everything in that clip. I was sent a lamp for review and I'm so excited for this lamp. I'm using it right now. It's a really cool looking lamp, but I'm filming at 3 p.m. So it's nice and bright out. So I'm gonna have to insert some clips when it gets dark. And I'm actually gonna do a whole like review challenge with the lamp, but I wanted to insert it in my haul also. So inserting now is those clips. Okay guys, I'm coming at you from the dark to show you my new lamp and to cover my messy desk. Now, just kidding, that'll be uncovered real soon. Basically, here it is. This is the BenQ e-reading lamp. And let's let's give it a tap and get started. So you just touch this ring. <sighs> wow, look at that funky looking guy. How cool is this? So as you can see, it like is super bendable. This all, it all moves, this all swivels. And yeah, yes, that's what it is. Okay, so the cool things about this lamp is this ring is what turns it on and off, boop. Then it also has this thing that can dim it or make it brighter, which is super awesome. And then I'm gonna try to show you, I'm gonna have to put on my overhead light just to see the sticker, but where is it? So if you see, uh oh, if you see on here, there's a little book and a little like um, Kindle looking thing, little screen. So what that is, hold on, is if you hold this down, now it's orange, and that means this is really good light for reading a physical book. So this is the light that won't hurt your eyes or anything. And then if we hold it again, now this green light is really good light for working on your computer or reading on a screen. And that's pretty awesome because I do both of those things. So this is like, it came in this big heavy base with this big heavy heavy base, so this isn't gonna tip over or anything. Obviously, this itself is a little bit wiggly because it's so long, but so far it's been really great, and I think it's gonna help with my videos to make them look even better for you. And I just love light, like legitimately, I'm obsessed with bright, bright light, so I just keep it on all the time. And you're supposed to like sit with it. So this is basically at your head level and then it like shines down. So for videos, my intention is to move this over there. But for now, my desk is pretty messy. But yeah, there we go. That's my new lamp. Again, I'm gonna do a whole video showing you the lamp in even more detail. You're probably gonna see a very similar clip in that. So be on the lookout, that might be my next video. And yes, I'm gonna have the links down below, a whole bunch of links from BenQ for this lamp if you're interested, if you've been on the lookout for a new lamp. This one's really cool. So, ready? Bye. How cool is that lamp? I am really hoping it really brings up the whole quality of my videos going forward. My only problem is keeping my desk neat enough to be able to use it the way I want. So, there's that super, Thankful to them for sending that to me. Again, the links for the lamp will be all linked down below. They sent me a bunch of information to link for you guys. So if you wanna find out more, check that out. 
And now I have a few tiny supplies and then I did get my book of the month books, which I figure I'll just throw in, why not? So the supplies, this month I went to Bic. I was intending on getting a whole different supply, the Neocolor Ones, which are essentially like fancy crayons, but unfortunately my store didn't have them to test in store. So I ordered them online and when they got to me, I was like, no, these are, they're not it. So I returned them, but I did go to the Blick store and I bought some things while I was there. But yeah, those crayons, I don't know what I was expecting besides magic and nothing is actual magic like that. So anyway, I did get six new Faber-Castell pit brush pens. These are the artist pens. Um, my Blick and possibly all Blicks, once you get a certain number, they're cheaper. So for mine, if you hit six, they go down in price. So I have been buying six at a time ever since the first one. So I got Nougat because that's funny. <laughs> I got Beige Red. I got Cobalt Turquoise. I got Magenta. I got Dark Indigo. And I got Leaf Green. So I'm really excited. I bring my swatch book right with me. So these are the six new ones. And I try to like look at what I'm missing. So that's the new ones. I think we've filled out pretty well, hit all of the categories of colors. So we'll see what I get next time if I do continue to buy more because I have some more space on my page, but my drawer that I keep them in is basically too full. So we'll see what we do, but I'm excited for those. Then I also from Blick got more Faber-Castell Nope, not that. That's what these are. I got more Tombow dual-ended brush pens. I got some more of these bad boys. I got another six of these because, like I said, once you hit six for my Blix, then you get the discount. So I got six because this is what I use to outline my Disney books. So... Basically every Disney page I will be using these. I got six. I also got this container from the container store. And so that's them, they're just in here. And then I also this month got the Sargent Art. I think this was a 24 pack of just black glitter gel pens. Basically, I, well, again, Lisa influenced me because she used black glitter gel pens for her lines for Disney instead of a pen or a marker or anything like that and I was like oh my goodness I've never tried that and I want to but all of the sets of mark or gel pens I had didn't have black glitter so I found you can buy individual colors of sergeant art in bulk so I bought these black I think it was like $12 I have no idea I will link these down below too and they're good I like them they go quick because gel pens just in general go quick so I'm pretty sure Basically, it's going to be one pen per outline, so I don't intend to do it a ton, but I think it's fun to have them, and like, who doesn't need black glitter? I'll definitely use it for other things. I used it for my Pongo page, too, that you saw earlier, so I've already gone through two or three of these, but that's all good because I love them, so this container is nice. I also got a bigger one that now houses my Sharpies and other permanent markers which is in my cart still I didn't think but they stack together but I actually I'm keeping this in a my drawer system what are you called boxes I don't know on my wall unit thingy which if you are a patreon member you know what I'm talking about because I have a office tour up there so anyway finally for supplies I got more gel pens so these are from the Dollar Tree I got two packs of the Jot regular gel pens, eight colors. I have had these before. They also go quick, but I like them for the Spiroglyphic book. I have the Disney Villain Spiroglyphics, and it seems that one Disney Spiroglyphic basically takes up two pens. So I now have four packs of these, and I've already used the two purples and the two pinks from the other pack. So what I've been doing is I like go like this, and I have Sam pick a random color, and then I'm like, oh, okay. I purple means Ursula in my head. So then I do the Ursula page kind of thing. So that's what I'm gonna do for those. And then my 
Dollar Tree did not have the glitter gel pens, but they did have these, which are super metallic gel pens. And I swatched these, but my desk, I don't know where I swatched them. I just do it on random pieces of paper. So I bought two packs of these because again, I assume if they're gonna go really quick, I might as well have two. And I might intend to use these for like my color Questopia that has the lines or the Sun Life books that has the lines and do my line work with that. So that's what I did with those, or that's what I'm going to do with those. Finally, we're up to my reading books. This month, I just purchased two books from Book of the Month. They get me, but I, actually, I think overall it's been making me buy less, but we'll see. This is Too Good to Be True by Carola Lovering. To be honest, I don't know what it's about besides it was the mystery choice. I'll read this if we don't mind. So Sky Starling is overjoyed when her boyfriend Burke Michaels proposes after a whirlwind courtship. Though Sky seems to have the world at her fingertips, she's smart, beautiful, and from a well-off family. She's also battled crippling OCD ever since her mother's death when she was 11 and her romantic relationships have suffered as a result. But now Burke, handsome, older, and more emotionally mature than any man she's ever met before, says he wants her forever. Except Burke isn't who he claims to be, and interspersed letters to his therapist reveal the truth. He's happily married and using Skye for his own deceptive ends. In, ooh, in a third perspective, set 30 years earlier, a scrappy 17-year-old named Heather is determined to end things with Burke, a local bad boy, and make a better life for herself in New York City. But can adolescent love stay firmly in her past, or will he find his way into her future? On a collision course... She doesn't see coming. Skye throws herself into wedding planning as Burke's scheme grows ever more twisted. But of course, even the best laid plans can go astray. And just when you think you know where the story's going, you'll discover there's more than one way to spin the truth. So that was a long introduction, but exciting. I'm always afraid. You can see that there's different perspectives, but I'm always afraid to flip through books like this because that one word that you accidentally pick up will be like the whole spoiler. So then I also got The Lost Apothecary. First of all, is this not beautiful? If you haven't seen Book of the Month, I might as well. They come with their own covers. So obviously this is normal, but it has their logo, Book of the Month. And then the Naked Book also has their logo and it says what month it's from. And yeah, it says it on there too. And then it also has their logo on the back with the month, which is just a fun time. This is the Loth, <laughs> the Loth, the Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. And I've been hearing a lot of good things about this. And this is actually a fantasy, which I don't normally read, but it sounded exciting. So, ready? Hidden in the depths of 18th century London, a secret apothecary shop. Are you making a lot of noise over there, sir? Sorry, a secret apothecary shop caters to an unusual kind of clientele. Women across the city whisper of a mysterious figure named Nella who sells well-disguised poisons in use against the oppressive men in their lives. Nella's dark world is no place for her newest patron, a precocious 12-year-old girl named Eliza Fanning. But their unexpected bond sparks a string of consequences that echoes through the centuries. 200 years later, aspiring historian Caroline Parswell discovers an aged apothecary vial in the River Thames. As she's newly grappling with the searing betrayal of her husband's infidelity, a curious research product project is exactly the distraction Caroline needs. But when she discovers a link between the vial and London's long unsolved apothecary murders, Caroline's upended present soon collides with an explosive history, binding her fate to Nella's and Eliza's in stunning twisting that transcends the barriers of time. So it's kind of a mystery and kind of historical fiction and kind of a fantasy. I don't know, but I think that sounds really cool and I wanna pick that up soon. I haven't been reading my physical books as much as I want. So hopefully I will read this soon, but I'm excited for both of these. Those are the only books I've gotten this month. And that's what I'm saying, I'm doing pretty good. So that is the end. If you wanna join book of the month, that'll be linked down below. The It's $15 a month. And then any extra books are only 10. So both of these were 25. And normally that's like less than the price of one brand new book. But I'll have that link down below. I will also link as many of the supplies and books as I can find. Basically the Amazon ones. I don't know how I'll do with the Blick stuff and the France stuff. And I'll have all the links to my lamp. So thank you so much to Christy and Ren for the happy mail. Lisa for the complete enabling 
and let's say a word. We're gonna say, you know what? This is another thing I purchased. It has nothing to do with it. This is a fruit bat <laughs> and it was a mystery fruit bat. So we're gonna say avocado if we've made it all the way to the end. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for saying avocado, making it to the end. Uh, subscribe if you haven't, I'm a fun time. Like this video down below, comment anything you wanna comment, links, my Patreon, any information all listed down below and I'll see you again in two days with something different. Thanks for watching, bye guys.